are and uh, getting ready for Valentine's Day. I, um, my husband and I, we already celebrated our Valentine's Day because we know tomorrow is going to be crazy. So we um, already, you know, beat all the traffic in a sense. But um, I'm here again from 12 to 1230 to help you. And if you have any questions about your skin or skin issues, feel free to um, email or, t you know, put in your comments here and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, so um, it's, this week is kind of, oh, what's going on? My lighting is weird. <laughs> it's like on and off. Okay, but uh, yes, if you have any questions, I'm here again every other Tuesday um, from 12 to 1230, and um, I'm here for you. Ask me, feel free to ask any questions that you may have, and I know that people are joining. Oh, hi, Cam. It's been a while. I haven't seen you. Um, this is a longtime friend that uh, we don't talk very much, but um, so yes, I'm here again to help answer any questions that are related to skin or or skin care or anti-aging, eczema, acne, anything like that. I'd be happy to answer for you. So just post your question here and um, and then we can go from there. But you know, every time that I'm on here, I always have a topic um, that I, I do keep in the back pocket just so that if I don't have any people asking questions, I am going to, um, you know, share with you what's going on. All right. So if I don't see any people, I'm going to share my screen right now. Okay, there we go. So um, you can see me here on, on my screen. And one of the things I figure that we can talk because um, Valentine's is tomorrow and I'm sure like all the ladies or every, I guess everybody wants to look nice and have beautiful skin. And, uh, you know, one of the things that you always think about is, well, what's the best anti-aging skincare out there, right? So this morning, I just looked up, I found this article from the Today, and it says 10 best anti-aging products to use according to Good Housekeeping. I'm going to make this um, increase the font bigger so that you guys can read this through um, with me. So their first recommendation is, let's see, um, facial moisturizers with SPF 30, gold winner, Neutrogena. So this one, I figure I'm gonna dedicate this next 30 minutes or so, um, just talking about this article and looking at the different um, products that they're claiming to be best anti-aging products to use. Okay, and um, and I'll let, I mean, I'll even let you know what my thoughts and uh, thinking is because, so this one is Neutrogena. Um, it has rapid wrinkle repair with SPF 30. Well, I do love, definitely like the SPF 30. Um, there's the retinol in there. So that's definitely, um, it has a wrinkle. Um, it helps with the wrinkles. Definitely there are a lot of data for retinol. And um, let's see. Um, they have ingredients like peptides and retinol to firm, plump, and even out skin while delivering broad spectrum sun protection with an SPF of 30. So this one I like. However, I actually don't like the fact that they um, combine the retinol together with an SPF because usually retinol can be irritating. And um, it's, for me, I personally prefer to use retinol at nighttime. So I wouldn't have combined these two ingredients together in my point of view, but um, it's, it's pretty good. And it's only $21 for one ounce. So that's very affordable. Um, so it is a gold winner. So I, I'm okay with it. But again, I would prefer the retinol to be at nighttime. Oh, here's the night cream with retinol gold winner, La Prairie. So here's La Prairie and it contains retinol to diminish fine lines, wrinkles, and spots. So what's the difference with La, between La Prairie and um, the Neutrogena? I'm not sure if there's much difference, but look at the price difference though. $272 for 1.35 ounce. And I've always talked about this in my all my you know videos and stuff like that. It's like, don't go for the brand name. Why? Because the ingredients are pretty much the same. 
Um, but you do want to use good products and good reputable, you know, companies that make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. But I'm sure Neutrogena is a reputable company as well, and is way more affordable than La Prairie. Um, and they both have retinol. So, you know, retinol is retinol. Uh, doesn't matter if you get it from Neutrogena or La Prairie, but the price difference is huge. So <laughs> um, let's see here. People say the retinol product is unlike any I've ever used the smoothness. Again, you know, to me, I think retinol is just retinol. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's La Prairie or not. Okay, now this one is night cream without retinol and it's a gold winner. So this one is from number seven, Lift and Luminate Night Cream. What's in here? Um, this one is only $25, okay. And um, I received compliments, but I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, here it is, because it has um, even out skin tone and minimized fine lines and wrinkles with ingredients like peptides. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't have a copy of my book, I rec really, really recommend you reading my book because from that book, you will understand all these ingredients that people are talking about and will arm yourself with the knowledge. So when you actually read and, and try to find a good product for yourself, you understand. So peptides are great, but there are many different peptides. For those who are science geeks, you know that pe peptides are just a, basically a chain of amino acids. And there are different amino acids you know, available. So peptides mean nothing depending on what type of peptide, then it will have specific uh, effect on your skin. So, you know, even if the, um, the cream itself says it has peptides, but if that peptide is not doing what it should be doing, then it's not going to help you. Okay. So um, check out my book and understand which peptides to look for. Then you will, um, will know if which ones are good peptides and which ones are not good peptides. Pep peptide is just a generic name. Okay. The next one, eye cream, gold winner. <clears throat> this one is called Amore Pacific. It diminished fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes, often lighter in texture than a face moisturizer. They moisturize smooth and may firm too. And it, wow, <laughs> $260 for half an ounce. My goodness, that is very expensive for a tiny little guy. Um, and, um, Again, I don't believe in eye cream. I, the reason why is because the skin around our eyes are not that much thinner than the skin around on your face. So, you know, I personally, and again, you know, this is my personal opinion. You don't have to listen to it, but I think that the, skin, the facial skin itself is thin. But doesn't mean that, you know, the eye is so much more different that you need to spend, what, $260 just to get an eye cream. When you get a good anti-aging cream for your face, you can put apply it around your eyes as well. I only use one cream every day in the morning. That's it. And, um, you know, just from the pharmacy point of view, when we worry, like, for example, applying steroid cream, you know, people always say don't apply areas that are thin skin, which is, includes the face, the groin, you know, underarm, you know, inner thigh, those, those thin skin areas. They don't say, you know, you apply a different cream for your eye versus a different cream for your face. No, we don't say that, right? So why would you be paying a lot more for an eye cream when you can just be paying for a face cream that you can apply on your eyes? So to me, that makes no sense. Okay, the next one, serum, gold winner. And I've, I've actually, oh, go back to the eye cream again. Um, and so I had this lady, uh, this, this young girl, and she's very adamant about using eye cream. And she's like, well, but you know, you have more wrinkles around your eyes and, and your eyes are more thinner, blah, blah, blah. And I said, the reason you have wrinkles is because you smile. Wrinkles, one of the reason that you, um, its form is because of repetitive movement. So of course we smile, we, you know, we make faces with our eyes, um, we make expressions with our eyes. So of course, you know, there's more contraction on your face around your eyes and therefore you actually get the crow feet, you know, those, those smile lines. 
those are just because you are repetitive uh, things. But, you know, just like anywhere else, if you continue to cause that repetitive um, movement and contraction, you will get those wrinkles. So not just only your eyes, but yes, your eyes will, will get more because we smile more, we have more expression on our eyes. So that's, that's how it works. Okay, so move on. Serum gold winner. Am I getting any comments or anything? Okay, good, let me know. <laughs> I have my uh, assistant here, uh, my awesome Susan. She's here with me, so she'll let me know if there's anybody that um, has specific comments or questions. But feel free to comment or question. I'm here for you. So I'm here until 12.30. I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, while we don't have that, I will move on to uh, the next one. Lancome Serum Gold Winner. Okay, let's see what's in here. This is lightweight and easily absorbed into skin. These powerhouse anti-agers packed with a higher dose of active ingredients from moisturizers, minimize fine lines and spots, and also firm and smooth skin. Well, it tells me nothing about what kind of ingredients they are. So the first thing you all should do is go to the ingredient list right away. But again, you won't understand the ingredient list unless you read my book. So read my book, understand what ingredients to look for, and then go to the, uh, the back of the bottle or, or wherever that you're buying or online and check out the ingredient list, then you know which ones to choose. So it says here, uh, it made a huge improvement in my skin. I love this product. Um, it's $79 for one ounce. So um, it helps decreasing brown spots and minimizing the look of pores. So again, it doesn't tell me any ingredients, so I can't tell whether I like it or don't like it. However, I think one of the misconceptions a lot of people don't know about is Serum is um, more water-based, more water-based, and um, cream ointment are more lipid, like you know, um, oil-based. And uh, so some ingredients can't be put into serum because um, they're they they like lipid more. So um, so for serum, it sounds really expensive, but it's actually not that expensive to make. Um, just a little FYI for those of you who are listening in. Um, so you'll be paying a lot more money for, you know, when actually a cream would be a better solution. for you, Or it could be a lotion. Um, only serum, when I recommend for serum for those who have really oily skin, um, then I would say, okay, use little serum. But other than that, most of us actually would benefit more from a cream or lotion. Okay, next one. Mm, dark spot fading serum. Again, another serum gold winner. Oh, see, I like this one. It already tells me what's in it. So the contender, and it's only $25. Look at that, $25 for one ounce. What's the other one that it costs? Uh, this one, oh, 70, $79 for one ounce. Okay, already I can tell the L'Oreal is a better um, bang for your buck. <laughs> And I do like these ingredients. They have niacinamide, vitamin C, retinol, kojic acid, and or hydroquinone. I'm not sure why they say and or. Does that mean that some of the bottles have hydroquinone and some don't? So hydroquinone is a prescription strength um, you know, ingredient. It can be prescription strength, but it can be over the counter depending on the percentage. And um, it really does help with taking care of the dark spots. Um, of course, the higher the, the the faster it does it, but probably in here I'm I'm thinking that it's either two percent or less hydroquinone because it can't be available um, over the counter more than that. So those of you who are looking for higher hydroquinone, then it'll be available only in the compounding pharmacy, just as ours, or it will be um, sold in the doctor's office and dermatologist. But I do like all these ingredients. The niacinamide, vitamin B3 has, uh, is good for um, dark, sp dark spots. Vitamin C is as well. And retinol is as well. Kochic acid also. So yeah, I, I do like this one. Um, I think this one makes sense and it's very affordable. So this is probably what I would choose this one. At home peel gold winner. Uh, what is this? The micro delivery triple acid brightening peel. Okay, okay, uh, so 
It uses glycolic acid to exfoliate and brighten skin and minimize spots and appearance. So yes, so it's, a, it's an alpha hydroxy acid, um, glycolic acid, which is very common in a lot of peels or even in, um, what is the, the one that, um, what do you call it you put on your face? Face mask, yes. Um, there are a lot of face masks that have alpha hydroxy acid. And basically what it does is that it gets rid of your dark, um, your dead skin cells. And so it leaves you with a more um, youthful, you know, younger skin. Okay, $70 for 12 pads, Sephora. Okay, you probably, will, those of you might probably want to know, do I believe in face mask or these kind of peels? I personally don't do it because um, I think that if you use a light, um, exfoliant every day for your skin. And there are other great, again, you know, go back to my book, but there are great ingredients that are very gentle. They're not as strong as glycolic acid because glycolic acid could be very strong and, and it could cause some people to have like um, irritation and redness. Um, there are other ingredients that are also exfoliation, but very gentle and you can actually use it in your on your skin every day and uh, gent gently exfoliate so you don't have to, you know, do that facial every month or every week and using those facial masks. Like, I honestly don't have the time for using all that stuff. I'm super busy as a mom and, and as a business owner and a pharmacist. So, um, so yeah, I, I can only use one cream in the morning and that's it. Okay. But glycolic acid definitely does work, but there are tons of products out there, tons. So I don't know if it necessarily has to be this one, but uh, just feel free to choose a bunch that is best for you. <clears throat> Instant wrinkle smoothers, gold winner. Angelica line, okay, let's see, with natural GABA complex. Okay, promise to immediately make fine lines like crow's feet look softer or less apparent without interfering with makeup. Mm, I don't know about this one because it doesn't say anything. Which contains GABA? Okay, an ingredient that relaxes muscle contractions. Okay. Um, I have yet to see data on GABA for, um, for skin. Um, so, High for improving wrinkles, I, but it really seems to make a difference. I noticed that the products seem to erase and soften lines, especially. I would have to do a little bit more research on this one um, because I have not heard of GABA helping wrinkles. I mean, I know of GABA uh, to help, you know, internally, but um, for the skin, I have to take a look more. Lip treatment, gold winner for the lips. All right. Okay, this one. Uh-huh, okay. So this one has um, to help you reduce lip lines and increase fullness and firmness over time. How cool is that? Like that's that's pretty interesting. I guess this will be for people that are older because uh, as you get older, um, you, your, your, your lips actually will get thinner as well. And so this will hyaluronic acid and peptides will help pump up the lips a little bit. Um, I can see why they're using that. Let's see how much it is. Uh, $26. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. That's pretty affordable. Um, one thing though, it would be nice if they have um, a sunscreen in it, right? Um, because we, I always promote keeping, protecting your skin from the sun uh, for the most part because sun damages your skin and also causes skin thinning too. And so, um, so, and so are our lips. And so for me, I, I, I would like if, if they have a sunscreen component in there, but not bad. Gold winner, fresh sugar, acai age related body cream. Um, okay, so this one has Shea Better and so with and okay and then another peptide so so again a lot of these products have peptides in them and or retinol okay so i don't know what kind of peptides so be careful when you see the word peptides all right uh, make sure you know what kind of peptides they're they're selling in there um 
$67, but you get a big bottle. So I guess it's not too bad, 6.8 ounce. Um, oh, so it's a body cream. Wow, okay. Um, do we have... <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. All right. So, um, let's see. So yeah, this one is a body um, body cream with, with uh, peptides and uh, and shea butter and all that stuff. Again, it's not meant for everybody because shea butter um, for those that have dry skin, great. But you know, those that have acne, don't use it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Well, I think that's all of the uh, 2000. We rounded up the new launches from 2012 and 2011. Um, and then, okay. So they just went into how they came up with the award list um, here. So yeah, uh, some of them are good. I Like I said, I, I actually like the one that is um, the lightning one, where it has really good ingredients. I like that it's transparent. Um, they don't just say you know, little stuff, but they actually list out all the grid ingredients. Oh, this one, I like this one, the L'Oreal Serum Corrector um, here, which is, fairly inexpensive and and those ingredients do help so that would be my choice for the winner okay um all right i think if you have any other questions feel free to ask me um in the meantime for those um that wanted to join my um newsletter and get involved with um you know getting like what what is it like um deals, I guess, because uh, we do give emails out our, in our newsletter, the like discounts and stuff like that. So if you feel like it, um, I'm going to put a post here for you to join my newsletter. So that way you can keep up to date with what we have going on and, and what we do. We do customized skincare. So I don't believe in products per se, but um, more of what your skin specifically need. We will actually make the cream for you, mail it to your house, and uh, we can help take care of your skin from there. All right, um, I know it's 1227 and I hope everyone has a great um, Valentine's Day tomorrow. And um, for those who are Asian that are celebrating Lunar New Year, I wish you all um, a good, happy new year and prosperous and uh, full of love and blessing. And um, I will see you in two weeks. All right, have a good day, bye.